There are more perks to this job that I got than I even asked for. This place is better than we ever thought that we're living in. God is just so good. And so I want to just encourage you in your walk with God. If there are desires that God has put on your heart that you know are from Him, trust Him and move in faith. Yo, what is good fam? Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Hainza. If you're new here, I make music and these kinds of vlogs here on YouTube all for the glory of God. Guys, other than the haircut, a lot has been happening. The last vlog I uploaded was a Vietnam vlog and it is currently September. I was with my wife in Vietnam with some friends back in July, so it's been a month. I haven't not filmed YouTube like this in a hot minute. Like I've been pumping out weekly vlogs, even bi-weekly. Like I've been making two videos a week, one vlog, one sit down chat, chatting kind of video all year. And so it feels weird, but yeah, I'm happy to be back on. Today, I just wanna update you and also testify to the power of our God and remind you that he is so good and share with you how he's just been moving in this season of my life, me and my wife's lives. So, I'm in a new city. My wife and I have moved to Sydney, so that's an update. This was kind of something that God put on our hearts. It was sort of spontaneous, but man, this has been so faith building because we got back from Vietnam for some context. We have been living with my side of the family for a few months just so we could travel. We went to the States earlier this year and went to Vietnam and obviously didn't want to be paying rent. So we moved out of our other place we had before that. And so when we came back from Vietnam, we were like, okay, we need a place. We kind of both looked at each other and we're like, Sydney? And yeah, I think God had planted that seed in my heart earlier this year when I came, um, but I wasn't 100% sure if this is where he wanted us. Um, and Kim, my wife, wasn't down at the time that I kind of mentioned it, like, oh, it'd be cool to live in Sydney. And she was like, ah, I don't think so. Um, so anyways, we came back from Vietnam and she was the one who was really like, yeah, I'm keen, let's go. And so here we are, but guys, the road to getting here, God is just such a provider and he gives good gifts and he listens to our prayers. And it's really true that, you know, he is able to do immeasurably more than we could ever ask, think, or imagine. Like, I love that verse and I'll put it on the screen. I can testify to the truth of this. You know, I feel like this is definitely a God thing. This is a place we really want to get grounded in and um, we want to put our roots down deep into community and church and just with the ministries that he's got us involved in, especially with me and like, you know, a startup that I recently started with a friend who is from Sydney that had a lot to do with the move as well um, and just connections that I have with music and career wise. And so it just made sense and we felt like it really was a God thing. Um, we needed a new environment, a new space, a new pace. And so Sydney just made sense, but we needed a place and we needed, well, I needed a job. I have been like, you know, doing Uber Eats here and there and just like um, getting other income from stuff that I'm doing with social media and just like odd jobs here and there, even in the like acting extras industry. So it's been kind of cool, but I needed a stable income, especially if I was going to be having to pay rent like we are now. And so I was like, God, okay, what am I going to do? I've been in finance and banking for the last three years, but just with the hours of that, I knew that I needed to hit certain income goals. And if I stayed in that, um, that industry, I would have to work like basically full time. And the hours of that job, as much as I loved working for that bank, like the hours would be midday, you know what I mean? Like morning, like a nine to five basically. And I was like, Lord, I really wanna be able to, you know, work on this uh, passion that you've given me with music and um, with social media content creation, like this stuff, YouTube. I really wanna be putting my time and effort into this stuff. And um, I was like, I need something that I can do every single day and have that consistency and help me reach my income goal, but be able to focus all of my time and energy, you know, like a good portion of it during the day towards this passion and these things that you've put on my heart to do. And I was praying for a morning shift. I realized that an afternoon shift, I think for this, I don't know, season of my life or just my personality, like knowing that I have work in the afternoon, I don't know, something about that, I'd be like dreading that all day, you know what I mean? Like, I'd be less productive. So I needed something in the morning. I was like, Lord, please. And so I was praying, I was applying to jobs here, literally still in Brisbane, applying to jobs. I don't know if I mentioned that, but like we lived in Brisbane before and grew up there. But yeah, I was applying, nothing 
was really happening. No one was getting back. I was like, God, please. I was just working on what I could do every single day for that month, for last month, like all of August. It was like kind of like limbo because we decided we'd come to Sydney and we even set a date for like, yeah, the 4th of September, um, which was a few days ago. And we're like, okay, God, we're gonna try to move this day. Please provide. <laughs> and um, yeah, it was just like, man, it was such a awkward space to be in because you're like, yeah, in limbo and nothing's really confirmed. So anyways, let me just check the time. Oh, I have church soon. But as I was saying, it was just an awkward, I don't know, yeah, like uncomfortable place to be in. And God was just like inviting me to trust him every day. Anyway, so I keep applying, you know, I'm like, I have faith you'll provide God, but you know, faith without works is dead. I gotta put in the work as well. I trust you, God. And yeah, like honestly, I'm like, praise God that I am able to be in that. And Lord, I always wanna be in that place of relying on you to come through and to be my daily bread and to provide. Um, and man, he is Jehovah Jireh. But anyways, we had a place, it fell through. It was like a week and a half before. And I was like, no God, what is happening? But I was like, you know what, God? That just means that you have something better. And lo and behold, he provided a place that was actually better. This was like, yeah, a week and a half before we were gonna move. Somewhere that was better, that was a better price, like a, a better place, a better price, just like more central for work, um, especially for some jobs that I applied to. And also with the job part, like God came through, I got two interviews that I came down to Sydney earlier for. And praise God, I got the one that I was praying about, um, which I'm super excited about. It like ticks every box. And I remember there was this temptation to think, oh God, I can just like settle for, you know, I can go back to banking or like, I can just do this. But then I was like, wait, no, like God is a good father. He knows how to give good gifts. And he says, ask and you shall receive like petition. Like he invites us into that. And so I was like, okay, I'm just gonna trust you, God. And I know that you'll provide. Actually, I have faith. And here is the list of what I need. And I literally made a list of all of these little things. It was like hours of work, even pay. Um, I was like type of work, like, you know, that it's a good place to work as well. And the Lord came through. The Lord came through literally every single box and check this out and more. There are more perks to this job that I got than I even asked for. This place is better than we ever thought that we're living in for the next year. Like God is just so good. And so I want to just encourage you in your walk with God. If there are desires that God has put on your heart that you know are from him, trust him and move in faith. Move in faith. That's the topic of this video, basically. And that's literally what we did. Move in faith. When God calls you to something, I realized this, like, if he has called me to really put my time and effort into these projects and this passion that he's given me, you know, and he's really calling me into that during this time, is he not going to provide for me? Like, isn't he going to make a way so that I can do that? Like, if that is truly his will. And so, yeah, just, I just hope that encourages you. I hope that gives you hope in your own life and motivates you to put your trust in God. Like, he is so trustworthy. This is my wife right now. I think she's calling me about church. Hey babes. Hey, sorry, I'm just filming down the road. I'll come and pick you up. Okay, see you soon. Love you. I'm a bit late, but anyway, um, I'm gonna wrap this up. Guys, God is good. He will come through and man, let his will be done in your life. Like he is faithful. He will open doors of opportunity. He will close doors as well. Like we don't talk about that part enough. Um, that's such an important part. Like I was like, God, maybe it's this job. There were so many jobs that I was like, this would be perfect. Or even that place, I was like, this would be perfect. And God was like, no, I'm gonna shut that door. Why? Because I have better for you. And so yeah, move in faith and know that God always has something better for you. And even though it might not seem like it in that season, I, I look at stories like Joseph, God always had better for him, but his life, there were moments where I'm sure he would have doubted, like being becoming a slave, getting sold into slavery and stuff like that, and getting thrown in jail even, like it's hard to believe that, but at the end of the day, he has better. And even if it's not in this life, like God has eternity for us. And yeah, so I just wanna encourage you. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. Um, I'm excited to, yeah, make more music, make more content, make more videos like this in this season. I'm really praying into, yeah, where I want this channel to go, what direction I wanna take it. So uh, yeah, I appreciate you being around. And if you could pray for just clarity around that for this channel, that would be so, so appreciated. So anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. God bless.